Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are still continuing with 3.2 as I told you earlier. It's a quite long topic. We will be continuing today with 3.2.2 part 1 of that. So stay concentrated, stay tuned for this because it's going to need a lot of your patience to continue with 3.2.2. In continuation with this, as a part of TAA design, we are now getting into 3.2.2, which is approaches for automating test cases. So, as well, we know that generally uh, there are different ways which are required to automate the test cases, and there could be easy way as well in terms of like capture and playback. Sometimes it would be difficult to understand what are the linear processes. Also, as a part of it, we will be also understanding what the test automation framework is, which could help us to minimize our efforts in terms of preparing certain frameworks, which will be completely automated in terms of automating everything. So here, we are just trying to understand the same thing in the details. So let's have a look what different things we need to talk about. A number of approaches can be used to create the sequence of actions. We do have uh, test directly into automated test scripts or also test procedures and trans, uh, transform them into the automated test script. Uh, you can use a tool to translate test procedures into automated test script. And the TA can also use a tool that generates automated test procedures and then or translates the test script directly from the models. So as you see, there are these four different approaches. Like one is the directly automated test script can be generated, which is capture and playback. On the other side, you see design test procedures and then transform them into automated scripts. That is linear approach of preparing the test script, uh, then convert the procedure into automated test script. So similarly, you do find all these things. We will be discussing them in detail. So there are generally four approaches which we can all together use to automate our test scripts or prepare the test script using the tools. Uh, further to add, well established approaches for automating the test cases include capture and playback approaches, of course, structured scripting approaches, data driven approaches, keyword driven approaches, plus the model driven or model based testing approaches. So, for one, we have capture and playback, structured, and data driven, keyword driven becomes two or three for the approach two and three, and the last, of course, is model based uh, scripting or testing. So we will be getting into details of all these, what you see at the bottom here, but let's first getting started with the first one here, which is capture playback approach. So in this approach, basically it means that you have a record and replay option or recording option in the tool where you just click on the record option and perform the activities uh, on the application, what you want to capture or record. Now during this entire activity, whatever you perform, the tool will be basically capturing your activities as you perform manually on the applications and then it will generate the entire test script for you and that's what the entire approach is so let's see more we have what we have got the principal concept about so you can uh, record and you can replay the same script it will work very well on the application during the replay of the events there are various manual and automated output checking checkings possibility Manual, the tester has to watch the SUT outputs for anomalies. Complete, all system outputs that are recorded during capture must be reproduced by the SUT. That means complete execution of the task case. Exact, that means it needs to be very precise in terms of doing the same operation as you did it while capturing these steps. Checkpoints are some certain steps like comparators where you can feed in with the expected value and while runtime it will compare with the actual and update you the result of the same. Pros, the capture and playback approach can be used for SUT and GUI as well as for API levels. Initially, it is easy to set up and use. Later, of course, it is difficult to maintain. Cons include capture and playback scripts are hard to maintain and involve because the capture and SUT execution depends strongly on the SUT version. If the application changes, the entire script needs to be revised. On continuation with the same, we are getting into the second one, which is linear scripting, which is also a part for the capture and playback, one of the way to do the uh, script preparation. Here, the principal concept involves the linear scripting starts with some manual procedures, like you define what exactly uh, the manual way of testing would be, and then you pick it up in terms of like documentation, and the tool will help you convert them into the 
test design or scripts uh, generation. So uh, I hope you know there are possibilities of certain tools when you manage the steps and then you uh, quickly click on the generate script option that that completely moves into uh, on the different side of the application uh, the tool and the script is prepared for you. So more of kind of if you worked with UFT, a Unified Functional Testing Tool by Microfocus, then you would understand the difference between the keyword view and the editor view, where the same thing can be observed. The pros include the advantages of linear scripting focus on the fact that there is a little or no preparation work required before you can start automating. So there's no prerequisite. You can just write simple steps, procedures uh, in the tool, and then you can just move to I prepare the test script button and then everything happens automatically. Once you have learned to use the tool, it is simply a matter of recording or manual test and replaying it as usual. Cons, cons obviously include the disadvantage of the linear scripts are numerous. That means it's just not limited, but some of them, the amount of effort required to automate any given test procedure will be mostly dependent on the size required to perform it. Thus, the 1,000th test procedure to be automated will take similarly proportional amount of effort as the 100th test procedure will take. In other words, there is not much scope for decreasing the cost of building new automated tests. So I, we, we, we understand here that whenever you come with some kind of automation pros, uh, at the same time, you do get some cons involved with it. So we are not going to target or getting into detail of the same. We will, I think this would be enough. You, if you are already a part of automation, should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding about the context. I'll be getting back to you with another tutorial on the same, continuing the further approaches. Till then, thank you so much, and happy learning.